Okay, in this circuit below, each cell has an EMF of 5 volts and an internal resistance of 2 ohms. Okay, and the bulb has a resistance of 20 ohms. Determine the current and voltage across the different components in the circuit. So I'm going to add on all this information onto the diagram there. Okay, next thing I'm going to solve, figure out how I'm going to solve this question. I'm going to solve it by conserving energy and current in a loop. I'm going to go through the bottom loop here. Okay, right, so first thing I'm going to have to do is define the current. So I know there's a current of I flowing through here. Okay, I'm going to define it as I. So the current through here will also be I. However, this branch is going to split up evenly because they're identical cells. It's going to split up evenly and there's going to be I over 2 flowing through that bottom branch there and I over 2 through the top branch there. Okay, and then it's going to join back up and it's I again. Okay, so now I'm going to think about the energy gained, okay, the total energy gained. So first time it gains energy is when it goes across this cell there. It's going to gain 5. And then it goes to the bottom branch and it gains another 5 volts there, 5 joules per coulomb. Okay, so total energy gained is 10. Okay, and then, then the energy has to be lost. Okay, so first energy lost here is going to be over here. Okay, I'm going to cross a load. So let's say that's good. So um, to figure out that, I just need the current times the voltage. So I times 20. The second energy loss, I'm going to use this I times 2. Add that on. And the final energy loss will be through the bottom branch here. Okay, across that. So that's going to be I over 2 times 2. Okay, the common factor there is I, so I'm going to take that out. So 20 plus 2 plus a 2 over 2, which is just 1. That's 10 over 23. That gives me a current of 0 0.435 amps. Okay, so that's the current through here. So I'm going to, I can figure out the voltage there by just doing 0 0.435 times 20 to give me 0 0.8, um, uh, sorry, it's 8.7 volts. And if I, if I want to look at the current here, I can do 2 times 0 0.435, which is a current there. And that gives me 0 0.87 volts lost here. And if I want to figure out the current through the, this one over here, it's going to be I over 2. So it's going to be 0 0.435 divided by 2 times 2, which is just 0 0.8. 435 volts across that as well. Another method I could use is just figure out the total EMF and total resistance. Okay, so to figure out total EMF, you need to think about how much energy each charge gains as it goes around the circuit. Now, each charge has to only go through two cells. It has to go through this cell, and it can go through either this one or this one, but only one of them. So the total energy gained will be 10 volts. So that's the total EMF. A total resistance, again, think about how the current flows. So all the current has to go through this and this. So we need to do 220 plus 2. But when it comes to the flow at this point here, the current can go down either this or this route. So they're basically in parallel. So to add it in parallel, you do 1 over 1 over 2 plus 1 over 2. And that's just basically this thing here is just basically 1. So that's going to give you 23 ohms. So 10 volts divided by 23 ohms gives us the current, which is 0 0.435 amps. And I can then use that to figure out the uh, potential difference across the different things.